So you just got your EMT certification, or maybe you've been working as an EMT for several years now. You're thinking about, hmm, maybe I should go to advanced EMT or paramedic school. I get asked this all the time on what to do, so I want to make a video for you. And here are my thoughts. So there's usually two main camps. Camp one is people that are unsure if they wanna be a medic or not. Camp number two is people who know that someday you definitely want to get their paramedic. This is pretty simple. If you know in your heart of hearts that you want to be a paramedic and you're able to go to paramedic school and you get in, I recommend that you skip advanced EMT and just go right into paramedic school. Why do I recommend that for this camp number two? Because if you are in paramedic school, you're gonna be in paramedic school for a long time. At the minimum, 12, in the fastest program, like 12 months. The majority of programs, 18 months to two years, you're gonna be in paramedic school. You are getting EMT experience on top of what you already have right now. So many students think, oh, I don't have enough experience to go to paramedic school. Yes, you do because you're gonna gain experience while you're in school. What do you think you're doing for 18, two months? Working as an EMT. So whatever you have now, add all that experience and you're getting in paramedic school while in paramedic school, you're also getting experience as a paramedic student. So it's all combined. Now, I don't tell you that just to say it. I tell you because that's what I did. I went to paramedic school with only nine months of volunteer EMT experience. When I went to paramedic school, I hadn't even ran a cardiac arrest yet. That's how new I was, right? So if I can do it, you can do it. And I say this because so many people will wait and wait and wait. They never make the jump. You can do it. I know you can, especially with the tools that we have now, like the paramedic coach and what I do here. Now, number two, what if you're in camp number one and you're unsure, man, like, should I go? to advance the MT or paramedic, I don't know. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna be, wanna, I'm not sure about paramedic school. For those people, this is what I recommend you do. I recommend that you go to advanced EMT school if you know in your heart that you don't wanna be a paramedic. I really would recommend this. If you have advanced EMT in your area, go for it. A lot of times the advanced EMT you'll find in, not always, but a lot of times in rural areas where the paramedics there's not as many of them or they're farther away. I've seen that a lot. And advanced EMTs can do a little more. So, I mean, you're gonna learn uh, advanced airways. You're gonna learn IV skill. You're gonna learn intraosseous access. Imagine there's no paramedic available and you're 30 minutes away from the hospital because you're in a rural area and you have someone who is unresponsive on the floor and they are in hypoglycemia. That's where the advanced EMT shines. They can start an IV, give dextrose, or give glucagon, wake the patient up, they took care of everything, we're good. So that's where the advanced EMT can really shine with those advanced skills. If you are unsure if you wanna go to paramedic school, take an advanced EMT course. Typically, it's usually around six months advanced EMT school. And what it is, basically, it's really you honing in your basic life support skills while learning a little bit more about the body, getting a little more in depth on some things, and then honing your pharmacology skills, your more advanced medications, medication administration, and yes, some more hands-on skills. I like to think about it as giving you as an EMT more time to learn more skills, and for that, we give you the AEMT. That's the way that I look at it. In my opinion, if I was to wave a magic wand, I would personally make every EMT advanced EMT. And I would make the EMT school longer, actually. That way, the advanced EMT curriculum could just be in every EMT and we'd get that level of care in every ambulance. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me on that. What did you do? How did you get your EMT? How did you get your advanced EMT? How did you get your paramedic? Let me know in the comments, like, what are your goals down below? Over to the chit chat with you down there and I will see you soon. Now, a lot of you asked in the comments about how to prepare for school, how to get through school and how to pass NREMT. 
The first link in the description is a study tool that I give to all my students to accomplish all of that. It's called the Video Vault. Inside the Video Vault is over 480 videos of content, audio files, worksheets, practice quizzes, our community group. What I do in the Video Vault is take all the concepts you need to know to pass school at REMT and I break them down simply for you. So that way you just follow along with the videos, you follow the study plan and you pass. I give my students lifetime access in the first link in the description and I'll see you on the inside.